Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Callistus, a third century pope, a most unusual man in a way because he was a slave and then was given his freedom and became a de deacon and so on. He also had a, a little sordid past, but not uh, dis terribly disrespectful. He had lost some money and uh, they, he left town, as it were, because he didn't want to go to jail. And finally, they caught up with him and he spent some time in jail. So he learned the hard way, as it were, like us all. So it seasoned him f for his role later on, after he became a deacon. Then eventually he was elected to the pap papacy. And he did much good. He built St. Mary Major Cathedral uh, Basilica. He also enlarged the, one of the cemeteries that bears his name now, the Callistus Cemetery. And he also watched over the church, especially he had the same problem that they had the same problem that we have today, finding proper suitors for women. There were many women who couldn't find a good man and rather than have them just live as partners as we do today and everything else, the civil law would not allow a slave to marry a free man, but he discerned that this was not the church's ruling, but the state's. So he went against that and allowed women to marry slaves if they chose to, to marry. That's better than losing the faith and marrying somebody who was uh, an infidel and you didn't even get married. So same with problems. What goes around comes around. Things don't change too much. He had his opposition with a few of the leaders in the church, Tertullian and Hippolytus, and, but he weathered the storm and eventually he was martyred, thrown down a well and gave his life for Christ. So we rejoice today on a hope who distinguished himself with good work and we pray for the papacy, especially during these difficult times. And we realize that we are in very difficult times. There's all kinds of comments here and there about what's going on in the church. And we wonder, we have to have faith that God would not let the church be attacked, nor the gates of hell prevail against it. So we pray, as Our Lady said at Fatima, we pray for the Holy Father, because he'll have much to suffer. So we pray our Holy Rosary for these intentions and for Holy Mother the Church, especially all of us during these difficult times to pray and sacrifice. As Our Lady said, many souls will go to hell because no one prays and sacrifices for them. So we must pray our Holy Rosary each day, especially for sinners, among them, of course, ourselves and our members of our family. May the Lord bless you.